Hey what's going on guys, Code Monkey Games here. Finally in this video we're gonna write a routine that would be testing uh, magic numbers whether they are appropriate or not in order to serve uh, as the multipliers for the relevant occupancies in order to index the sliding piece attack tables. So uh, we'll start implementing them just right in the moment but before that I just want to uh, highlight a couple of uh, minor bug fixes. Well, uh, probably it's not even a bugs, but just just a slight inaccuracies. Uh, but still, so I just want to mention that. So, uh, well, the very first thing to consider. Well, it's it's not a bug fix. Uh, it's just a change of a variable name. So I've changed the state variable uh, name into the random state. So as far as it's a global variable, just to give it a more appropriate global name so random state uh, right here here and here is actually being changed and another another thing so uh, the previous uh, in the previous video I had this like transformation of this uh, get random uh, unsigned 32 bit number bitwise ended with this constant of ju just to slice the bits but actually mm, uh, I had to uh, th this is wasn't very uh, the most accurate way of doing things and even though this still kind of works uh, and I I've already tested that but uh, just to make sure that the version of the magic number generator uh, I'm writing within this series and the one that I'm maintaining in in my chess engine I just want them, them to be absolutely the same and that's the reason for actually first uh, what, uh, so first we just convert in this random 32-bit uh, uh, number to uh, this uh, u64 number and then uh, we just uh, bitwise enter this just slicing up this 16 bits uh, so this is it regarding the updates and yeah so let's actually go for implementing our find magics routine here so uh, I've already cr created this slightly uh, I've already created this nice layout here so um, let's define the function that would be responsible for finding the magic numbers so find uh, appropriate magic number so this would be the u64 function let's call this find magic number and it would be taken three arguments so first one would be int square then uh, integer uh, relevant occupancy bits or just relevant bits so the source for this variable is available let me search for this is available right over in here so we would have passed this values into the function so relevant bits and the very last one is u64 attack mask okay so first of all we need to provide some core initializations here so mm, let's first we need to initialize occupancies so I would like to create u64 occupancies array of up to 496 elements it's the number needed to um, take care of rook occupancies we need only 512 for bishop uh, well at least uh, according to plain magic bitboard implementation from chess program in Wikipedia but as far as uh, uh, or hold on a sec. Uh, sorry, it's not the attack mask. Sorry, it should be int in bishop, which which is the flag. I'm sorry, guys. So uh, we would be calling this find magic number for either rook or or a bishop for rooks or bishops, and depending on this, the size uh, of the occupancies and attacks would be different. But uh, we're taking the maximum number that uh, actually can fit the number of occupancies for rooks so this this is this is it so next thing to consider we need to initialize our attacks 
uh, uh, or actually attack tables and here we can see u64 attacks and it would uh, and it would be the same size here so this like and also we want to initialize the variable which i call used attacks so the core idea of testing uh, this magic numbers whether they fit or not is actually to compare the indexes of used attacks and attacks so th this would be uh, a bit more clear later on uh, about this video so u64 used attacks like this now the next thing to consider we actually need to initialize uh, attack mask for current feeds so Mm, let's create the u64 variable uh, oh my god called attack mask and uh, I would be using the ternary operator now so if it's a bishop so uh, bishop is just a flag by the way I'm just wondering did I already yeah uh, I forgot to mention one more mm, uh, uh, one more difference of, uh, compared uh, compared to the previous version of the source code I've also added this enumeration uh, sorry not here I've also added this enumeration of rook and bishop flags so a rook is equal to zero bishop is equal to one obviously I could have not doing this and using just zero and one instead but just to make it a little bit more clear I made this as well so uh, this in bishop is is the flag to distinguish between the rook and bishops when it comes to actually initializing our magic numbers so in case of the bishop we, we need to say mask bishop attacks like this and pass the square where uh, 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 and pass the square uh, we're now looking uh, magic number four and otherwise we want to mask rook attack and pass the square as well okay and now we need to initialize uh, what I call occupancy indices and remember when we were implementing set occupancy function uh, I was uh, uh, describing the very first uh, argument that is taken by the set occupancy that is called index and I was also mentioning that we need to limit that index somehow so now we'll uh, Mm, provide the variable uh, serving exactly the purpose of limiting the indexes indices for set occupancy uh, for set occupancy uh, function. Okay, so uh, this would be integer. Let's call this occupancy indices, and it would be equal one right shifted to the relevant bits okay and now we actually need to look for uh, occupancy indices and I can say for int index equals to zero index is less than occupancy indices and index plus plus let me actually try to compile and run the code to make sure that everything goes okay so I just need to type make debug and if it compiles I would like to run the uh, BBC binary executable Okay, probably missing some five eight two. Excuse me. Oh, just uh, obviously I meant underscore here and mask rook attack, not mask rook attack, but mask rook attacks okay so just to keep uh, keep track of compi uh, compiling errors here and here we will initialize our occupancies 
by saying occupancies uh, is this called like this okay index by the index would it be equal set occupancy and we're passing this exact index I've been talking about when we were dealing with the set occupancy uh, function so to give all the possible uh, occupancies available w available within the attack tables to reference later on uh, okay so I just forgot the order in which set occupancy uh, takes its argument so bits in mask and the attack mask so bits in mask is the relevant bits so relevant bits and the attack mask is this one paste okay and now we need to initialize our attacks actually so attacks index by the index would it be equal to so again if this is the bishop then we will need to generate uh, uh, attacks on the fly for bishop. So bishop attacks on the fly and it takes where and occupancy. So this one occupancy is indexed by the index. And otherwise otherwise if it's not a bishop if it is a rook it would be taken rook attacks on the fly okay and semicolon perfect so let's make sure code still compiles okay and now it's actually time to test our magic numbers so say see here I say test magic numbers so uh, test magic numbers loop even this would be more appropriate name for this part of code so we can say for and let's create a variable called random count so like this equals to zero and a random count is less than some big number and random count plus plus and here we want to generate magic number uh, candidate number candidate so it's not yet a magic number that we're supposed to be using we just generate it then we'll go for tests and if it matches if it works in that case we actually return this and we would be using this to initialize our magic number arrays in future so uh, this would be the u64 type called magic number and I call the function generate magic number so let's check that I'm sorry let's check that it still compiles and runs okay now it might happen that we would be generating some uh, magic numbers that are 100% uh, inappropriate so we uh, would like to provide a little condition to skip those uh, those cases basically basically in those numbers so here I, I can simply say skip uh, uh, skip inappropriate inappropriate magic numbers skip inappropriate uh <laughs> forgot how to write the appropriate word uh, okay hold on guys yeah it seems like it's just fine so we can say if count bits now some expression here so uh, i'll provide this just right in a moment if it's less than six in this case we can just continue this loop so uh sorry guys not, not going any uh, uh not not going for tests basically and here we want to take our attack mask and multiply this by the magic number and i want and also bitwise and this 
with a constant of ff and 14 zeros so 2, 3, 4. Okay, so it seems like quite pretty it. So the next thing to consider we need to initialize our uh, use the tax array. So initialize used the tax array and let me see if I already yeah so I've al I've already did include this string.h system here before recording this video to uh, be able to use the mem set standard function in order to initialize use the tax uh, to zeros so I can simply say like mem set and then use the tax and zero unsigned long long is is the, the value to initialize uh, our array with and the number of size of uh, number of, of bytes is size of used attacks like this okay uh, let's save this and now it's actually time to test our magic index so mm, test magic index and this uh, this would be done within the loop so we can say a loop here so for uh, well before this uh, I want to initialize uh, initialize index and fail flag so int index and uh, and fail so fail would be the flag uh, flagging that the current given magic index, index is doesn't work basically and we just uh, return zero instead of a magic number and kind of rise this fail error here so here we say if index is equal to zero and fail equals to zero uh, not like this sorry and then the condition so if it doesn't fail and index is less than and here we use exactly the same occupancy indices variable copy and paste and index plus plus and here we want to initialize initialize magic index so u60 uh, oh sorry no this would be integer yeah so integer magic index uh, would it be equal to occupancies index by the index so first we did initialize this occupancies uh, so this loop is the same as this loop the only difference is we also add in this fail flag and uh, all the rest is kind of pretty the same so here we initialize our occupancies here we test them uh, occupancies uh, uh, multiplied by the magic index uh, or sorry by the by the magic number magic number and also right shifted to the expression of 64 minus relevant bits so this is the core uh, this is the core expression to look up the uh, pre-calculated attack tables for slide and pieces of human magic bit boards from according to just programming Wikipedia so we're just testing this expression so uh, uh, we're we're actually initializing our magic and index using this expression to ask uh, next if if it kind of works that's it and also uh, we want to make this integer like this and finally actually in order to test whether our magic index works or not so we we can do the following thing so we can say if uh, if uh, let's say not if but on empty on empty index available 
uh, and we say if used attacks uh, indexed by the index is equal to zero and side long long just like we did initialize this in this line in this case uh, we want to say we want to initialize this use the tax so use the tax indexed by the index uh, would it be equal to the tax indexed by the index and mm, so we can simply say like uh, let's say magic index works uh, well let's say let's let's better put it here so uh, if magic index works then here we want to uh, initialize use the text save mm, and otherwise otherwise I else if uh, else if use the tax index by the index is not equal to a tax index by index in this case we want to return uh, actually say like magic index doesn't work and we can s and we s we set our fail flag equals to one and okay oh guys I'm sorry uh, obviously uh, I meant the magic index within use the text and comparing them to the uh, a text index by the index because we have a text already being initialized here uh, just like the occupancies and we're just comparing the index for all the available occupancies and respectively all the available attacks with this newly generated magic index obviously so that's that's very simple so if we just find such a number that if we multiply our occupancies by and do this right shift uh, 64 minus relevant bit stuff if if we hit this sort uh, of attacks being initialized make sure that it's exactly the same one in this case it simply means that the uh, magic number works otherwise it just returns fail and that's and that's it. so here uh, we can say if not fail uh, we want to return magic number so let's say if magic number works uh, return it and that's it and otherwise uh, if magic number doesn't work uh, we can simply say printf and magic number fails hopefully never getting right over in here in this part of the code and we just return zero unsigned long long and this is basically kind of it so the very last thing left here is actually to test this find magic function because uh, I might have made make some typos during uh, implementing it so to make sure it's bug free we need to test this first and here uh, I will define the function to actually initialize magic numbers even though we don't really want to call this function every time that when we would be running our war engine still it would be available so for those of you guys who want to play around with this you just feel free to to make use of this init magic numbers function that's it so uh let's make it void and call init magic numbers and 
Here we'll have a couple of for loops. So uh, loop for 64 board squares. So we'll, we're going to be doing this a couple of times. Just, just for clarity, basically. So for um, int square equals zero square is less than 64 square plus plus and here we want initialize first let's start with the rook so initialize rook magic numbers so first we would be printing them and if it prints the correct numbers i already <laughs> visually remember them how, how they supposed to be look supposed to look like so if it prints them correctly it's fine we'll just go for uh, initializing the appropriate uh, variables that we'll create right in a moment uh, well this in this video and if it doesn't work uh, I'll debug them until it works and then we again like we will initialize the variables so let's simply print F and uh, I want to print 0x and then ju just before the specifier and then this would be uh, Lon Lon unsigned and I want to print them in a hexadecimal and add unsigned Lon Lon at the very end and the new line uh, yeah I need to check the formatting also but okay for now uh, let's go find the find magic number okay so copy and find magic number so we're pass passing our square and then mm, so for uh, oh my god what else do we need to pass here the relevant bits and the flag so the relevant bits let's make it for bishop relevant bits indexed by the square and I, I send this bishop flag which literally equals to one so I could have made it just like this but I, I just call it bishop in the enumeration in the very beginning of this file okay so it makes sense just to test this so uh, I'm, I'm really wondering does it still compile does it compile well <laughs> uh, okay let's start from the very beginning so six two three what do we got here uh, use the tax oh so just forgot a semicolon okay uh, six three seven okay another semicolon okay now bishop relevant bits undeclared so let's search for how exactly it's called basically relevant hold on a sec what do you mean it's under undeclared oh just a typo again copy so probably some sort of a typo ah yeah obviously just just a typo okay so it listed compiles now which is already good news and here I want to call this init magic numbers routine and init magic numbers and I hold my breath and try to run the code and something uh, for some reason yeah it's not exactly so uh, I need to work and form it in a bit so first, uh, actually, I don't really want to make them unsigned here. Uh, okay. Oh, hold on a sec, guys. In order to make sure that this number is actually fit what I've been uh, doing before in my engine, uh, I need first to start with the rook, obviously. So rook 
Yeah, why did, why did, why did they consider a bishop? I have no idea. So rook, relevant bits, and uh, rook, and the rook. Okay, so these numbers already seem to be exactly like those that I already have generated. So if I just uh, if I just open if I just open that folder containing um, yeah this one no no this one I just want to make sure that the magic numbers are exactly the same uh, like those I have generated before. So here. So we would have be comparing them with with this list. So let's have a look. Okay, so eight a eighty ten four thousand seems to be fine. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, so rook numbers seems to be generated correctly. Okay. Forty four o two U L L. Yeah, brilliancy. Okay, and if we just now add the same routine, but for uh, but for our bishops, so bishop magic numbers, find magic number and bishop and the bishop black as well. Save. Okay. I really hope this this would have worked now. Uh, yeah, now th they just print them without separators. So let's just let's print some separator here to make sure we distinguish between where the rook magic numbers ends and where the bishop magic numbers begins. So okay, let's go for comparing them as well. Okay, four, okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, this is it, it seems to be, it seems to be it, so let's compare from the very bottom here as well, so 401, 0011, 02, 90, 220, okay, 2200, okay, yeah, it seems like, it seems like exactly the uh, exactly the same magic numbers uh, I've been generated before. Okay, guys, so this is really good news, uh, to be honest, because uh, this is already the second attempt to record this video, believe it or not, because I really did fail <laughs> to match these magic numbers when I was uh, recording this video with a take number one. Okay, anyway, uh, now we can already uh specify the variables to store our magic numbers so um, i'm just looking for a proper place for doing this well probably probably pawn attacks let's put them right over in here so magic numbers so let's say rook magic numbers and here will have our bishop magic numbers so here uh let's call this u64 um, rook magic numbers variable and up to 64 elements for the number of squares like this and the same for bishops okay so now here uh, instead of printing this stuff uh, we can actually so I just want to uh, cut this part and say so here we initialize in the rook magics or hold on a sec So we can say rook magic numbers indexed by the square will be equal to the ret return value of this function. Okay. 
and here so I just want to test that later on uh, and let me just grab this one put it here and this would be bishop magic numbers and bishop relevant bits and the bishop flag save and yeah don't forget don't forget the semicolon for c programming language doesn't forgive you that okay no print new line anymore save so i hope it still compiles okay it takes time now it takes time to initialize uh, the magic numbers and we don't really want this to, to, to happen when we actually run in our engine to play chess versus other engines or something. So we really want to uh, we, we really want our engine to initialize instantly. And that's the reason to actually use these numbers as, uh, as the constants uh, pre-coded within the source code. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just need to make sure that this initialization function works correctly. I'm not going to be calling this uh, in the final version of the source code. Uh, I will mute this even in this part, I believe. But before that, I just want to make uh, a little more test. So let's say for int square equals 0, square is less than 64, square plus plus and here uh yeah let's start but not not actually finding them but instead i want to print this from the array so rook mm, magic numbers indexed by the square and the same for bishop magic numbers so i just want to make sure that they have been initialized correctly so at first it finds them uh, writes the values into the arrays the appropriate arrays and finally it prints okay uh, let's me let me just print a couple new lines in between again and now I just want to check uh, I want to check this one last time here so okay obviously they should be kind of right so, um, okay, rook seems to be correct, and the bishops, okay, yeah, bishop seems to be correct as well, okay, yeah, seems like, se seems like they, they are, are working actually. Okay, perfect guys, so the very last thing uh, I would like to go for is actually to hard code these values so first we have rooks right so yeah it's very important not to <laughs> misplace them uh, uh, well actually I don't even want this part save just make it run again uh, okay and I'll just grab I'll just grab these guys and copy them and rook magic numbers and just paste them in like this oh man <laughs> i missed one little thing sorry i just need to put a comma put to put commas uh at the very end like this sorry just one more time uh, yeah, this this doesn't work without a commas. Uh, no, start start with rooks. Copy in uh, 
Okay. And the same for Bishop Magics. Okay. Well, okay, guys. So uh, now I can all, I can already uh, drop initializing this init magic numbers, uh, and also I could probably uh, initialize one more. Uh, I could have implemented one more little function. So I just say uh, okay, init here mm, init all this and in it all mm, I don't know variables let's say in it all variables and wait in it all and instead of doing this within the main function just want to be doing this here save and also I want to uncommand init magic numbers because we don't really need them anymore and here uh, just call this init all and okay so well probably let, let's let's try to init magics for the one last time make sure everything still works and then I just command that out and we're done okay yeah so now I can command this command this out and we're done so now it loads instantly it, uh, it uh, initializes instantly because we already already have our magic numbers being uh, hard-coded pre-coded within the source code instead of generating them on the fly before uh, uh, instead of generating them on the fly yeah uh, I must say that some engines and uh, I remember I remember that there were there were the times when Stockfish was actually uh, generating the magic numbers on the fly and the idea is that uh, the better magic numbers you have uh, by saying the better I mean the uh, the less they are the faster the faster they are about to be mul multiplied by the occupancies and the faster the mode generator is about to be working and there are uh, ex implementations exist and that it was involved in stockfish one day i'm not sure uh, about the current state of, of this sort of stuff but one day it was like uh proposed by uh, marco costelba one of the authors of stockfish chess engine so he 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 offered a way of on the fly magic number generation uh but I'm not really that sure. Was it really made for to work on the fly, or just to initialize them on the fly? There is, there, there was, there was some sort of a post on Talk Chess, uh, very rare one, but quite pretty interesting. So if I find a link to that, if if, if you're interested, let me know in the commentaries. I will find the link and let you know about this stuff, because I just can't forget uh, to to do this, obviously. Well, okay guys, so this is it for this video. Uh, for, for me personally, initializing magic numbers was one of the most challenges back in those days when I was initially trying to learn about magic numbers because I had I literally had no implementation available and I need to go for, for, for understanding of how it works from scratch. Well, actually, I mean like uh, I had a code regarding initializing the magic numbers uh, uh, like f f looking for magic numbers uh, from the third Romstead's code the author another uh, another author of stockfish chess engine that is available within the looking for magics article in the chess program in wikipedia uh, but uh, i really didn't have any any routine to initialize the sliding piece attack tables which is the topic of the next video obviously so uh, that was something that I really needed uh, to come up with completely on my own and I was really proud of that uh, back in those days 
Okay guys, so this is it for this video. Next time we're gonna be finally initializing our slider piece attack tables and we'll also write a couple of routines to reference uh, those tables using the magic big board technique and we'll see how it works uh, on the real deal basically so this is it from my side thanks for watching i really appreciate your attention to my work and following the series wish you all the best guys until the next time and take care